today we're on the Snake River in western Wyoming doing our early detection rapid response part of the Snake River project. So uh, we're floating with our handy raft here, hitting every island that we can and going after individual salt cedar and perennial pepperweed locations. Uh, we have them loaded in our uh, iPhones and on tablets so that we can follow them on ARC online. We'll, we'll be seeking out each individual point. We'll have a handful, as many as we can get to today, we'll, we'll go for. And um, as we find them, we'll treat them if needed or mark them as not present or no live plants. So we'll just sort of see what we find. Salt cedar was first discovered um, on the Snake River Corridor in 2001. Uh, it was first found at the Astoria boat launch. Um, at that point, it was a fairly large patch. In 2003, that's when we first started floating the Snake River. Um, and quite a few points were found at that point. Um, since then, we've began to slowly eliminate uh, salt cedar points. When we find a salt cedar on the snake, we treat it. Um, and usually the next year when we go back to that point, we don't find it anymore. So we all have our own personal pet peeve uh, invasive species. If you've been in this business long enough, this one happens to be mine. Oxide daisy, um, this plant drives me nuts. And I think it's more because it's so beautiful. Everybody wants to plant it in their flower beds. And uh, it's escaped in Western Wyoming. We have it. It's an early detection rapid response species right now on the Snake River though. So we're working really hard to keep this from getting established on the snake. So this, um, this is one we just found right now, looking for another point that we had in our GPS. So it's a brand new location. We'll get it marked and treated, and then we'll come back next year and see how we did on it. So we have hundreds of points that we'll, we'll check every year and spend at least, um, at least two weeks, sometimes three, with crews out on the river every day um, trying to get to all these different locations. It's just a small piece of the Snake River project, which includes um, the biocontrol, on the islands on the spotted knapweed, um, and then just a reg our regular herbicide spot treatments on the levees, and then working with private landowners and our federal and state partners as well.